if, if this goes wrong, you hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. If a conventional war starts between the two countries, Mr. President, if a conventional war starts and it could, anything could happen, but supposing a country seven times smaller than its neighbor is faced with the choice, either you surrender or you fight for your freedom till death, what will we do? I ask myself this question. And my belief is, la 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 la, there is no God but one. And we will fight. And when, and when, and when, and when a nuclear armed country fights to the end, it will have consequences far beyond the borders. It will have consequences for the world, which is why I repeat I'm here. Because I'm warning you, it's not a threat. It's a fair worry that where are we headed? And it is, I've come here to tell the UN, you've got to, this is a test for the United Nations. You are the one who guaranteed the people of Kashmir the right of self-determination. They are suffering because of that. And this is the time. This is the time not to appease like in 1939 appeasement took place. This is the time to take action. And number one action must be that India must lift this inhuman curfew, which has lasted for 55 days. It must free. It must free all political prisoners, and especially those 13,000 boys that have been picked up. Parents don't know where they've disappeared. And then the world community must give the people of Kashmir the right of self-determination. Thank you.